Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. As promised, today I'm here to give a very important update on my binder planner system. You guys are loving this, I'm so happy because it has honestly been kind of life-changing for me to just take my planner addiction <laughs> and move it into an actual binder that I can totally customize to be anything I want. Um, I totally have put this together using like printables that I just make myself and print at home. I have a freebie for you guys that you can easily print out and just use any binder as a planner. So I want to take you page by page and give you the update on this whole system, how I'm using it, how it's working for me. Um, and also I have a very exciting giveaway today. So this is the binder. You guys were obsessed with this. Like I've never gotten so, so many messages on any other topic in my life, which I love because we are just right there. This is a beautiful pink binder. I got it at Target. It says Cambridge Edition is the brand. It has this pretty rose gold package, like printing on it and rose gold corners. It's just beautiful. So we were all freaking out, all of us together, that maybe this was the only one because it was so hard to find. I just, it was like the only one in my Target and I was like, what is this? And I purchased it, not knowing that it was like gonna be a thing. So I went to so many other targets. You guys have gone to so many other targets and we've all been starting to find more. So hopefully these are gonna be in like full stock. Like Target, please get these online, get these in every store. This is a beautiful binder. <laughs> anyway, long story short, I hunted high and low to find another one and I'm doing this as a giveaway for you guys. So stay tuned to see exactly what's in here, what my updated system is. And then at the very end, I will be giving this away to one of you. Inside, I've got a fun kind of festive girly layout because I love pink and I just love cute stuff and it makes me happy when I open my binder. So before I had my rose petal dashboard, I just made this one. It's got the mice from Cinderella, super cute. I basically just took a piece of craft paper and laminated it. I'm obsessed with my laminator. It's just like blank on the back, but I keep it in this pocket with sticky notes attached to it so that I can easily um, grab these when I'm planning and I need them. And these pieces of paper, you'll see a few throughout because I kind of made some little Disney dashboards, came from this huge thing of craft paper that I got on Amazon. And it's just like the gift that keeps on giving for DIY planners, scrapbooking stuff. I've been using it for like, I don't know, years maybe. And I just get so much out of it. So I love that paper. Made a new dashboard for myself. I also have some tickets from the Walt Disney Family Museum because it kind of went with that. and cute little adorable things here to keep me happy as I'm being productive. Um, okay, and then in here, this is my pencil pouch. I've got those cute napkins from Alfred T still. I've got my erasable highlighters that I'm obsessed with, my Stadler pens, a pencil, and a little pastel pen. Um, I made this new dashboard too using that same craft paper. I just cut it down to eight and a half by 11. I put one on the back too, which is like the birds from Cinderella and that one's Cinderella and I just laminated it. So it's not really serving any purpose in here. It's just cute. And so when I open it up, the first thing I see is like pink because my dividers, I haven't really been able to find dividers that I love. So I wasn't enjoying that the first divider page was blue. I know that's so silly, but honestly, the more aesthetically appealing you can make your binder planner, the more you'll want to use it, the more you'll be interested in planning and you'll by byproduct be more organized. So it's all a win-win. Um, so like I said, I'm using these dividers. I don't know if I love them, but you can write on them with pencil and erase, which is nice. So this first section is my calendar still. I have all the months in here dating back to July. This current month is marked with this bookmark still that rips out. And I just kind of have it color coded. So as I go, I can easily tell what I'm seeing. Like, is it workouts, places, I need to be, travel, stuff that my husband's got going on or whatever. And I love having this big calendar on two pages. I bought these from Etsy and it's just so convenient. I just print it myself and it's great. And I've got all the months in here for the rest of the year, which holy crap, that's not that many more months. That's so weird that we're three months away from 2019. Oh my gosh. Um, then the next section is my little daily section. And in here, the first thing I have is this habit tracker, which I showed you in my last like planning vlog video. I got this from um, somebody named Sean West that does a lot of productivity organization, podcast tips, stuff like that. And I really like it, but it's making me a little bit frustrated that it's not perfect because I'm just, I'm not perfect. 
Um, and I don't like that it's like not all colored in, but it is cool because I can see trends like, you know, obviously the weekends tend to be tough for me. And so I can kind of track these five habits that I'm really focusing on on here. Um, I'll keep reporting back on this. I'm going to make it through the rest of the month and see if this is something useful I want to keep doing or not. Then I have my daily pages. I always fold them alternating up and down like this so that it makes a cool little pattern and I can flip to the back just like if I were still in middle school when I used to do that. I might have my second little binder tab here to mark today. So these are a freebie that I designed for you guys. It's my little daily to-do list insert printout and you can just print however many of these you want, punch holes in them, print them on normal printer paper and stick them in a binder and it turns it instantly into a planner. So I love this. I like putting my appointments like where I have to be when here and all my to-do list items. Big section for notes in the bottom and um, this comes in handy just so, so much. And I usually pre-date these so that I can like flip to an upcoming day and add something to the to-do list um, if I need to. So that section is everything. The next section I call my to-do section even though these are my daily to-do lists, this is where I keep my notes of everything that's gotta get done. So I shared with you guys before, like a big key to this whole process for me is having just a plain old sheet of notebook paper that I use as a brain dump. And I just scrawl down everything in my head, like 2 a.m. you wake up and you remember something you have to do, you just like scrawl it down on here. And it's this long running list of just stuff. You can just get it out of your brain, onto paper and that way you know it will get done eventually. So what I do is I transfer these things over to my little individual to-do list pages as I go and then I cross it off my brain dump. Even though it's not done yet, I know it's on the correct day. So every day all I have to do is like flip to today's to-do list and I know this is what I have to, to do today and I'll be set because <laughs> everything that was on my brain dump gets moved over. So usually every couple of days, I'll kind of move these things over to individual daily to-do list items, unless it's more urgent. Um, and then definitely on Sundays, I take a moment to like sit down and plan the coming week based on all the stuff that I've just kind of scrawled out here on my to-do list. So then I have individual pages for all the stuff going on in my life, all of my different projects. So like my beauty ebook is about to be released. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. And then after that is going to be my planning ebook. So definitely stay tuned for both of those. I'm so excited. Um, so I have individual project pages for all of that stuff. I have stuff for travel. These are just like individual to-do lists. And again, I'm constantly moving these items over to my daily list so that nothing falls through the cracks. Basically, as long as I do my to-do daily list, I know I'm good. And then, whoa, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I knocked the camera. Um, Basically, as long as I do everything on my day list, I'm good. And I just check, flip through these to-do lists and make sure I'm transferring over items so they're getting done on a specific day. Now, this section is new. So this I'm just calling it notes. And basically what I've been doing is whenever I come across something interesting, an article, a blog post, um, like a free handout PDF type thing like this that I want to reference and absorb, I'll print it out, put it in here, highlight it and reference it. And I love that I can just print something out, just a normal printer paper, hole punch it and stick it in here. So like for instance, this is almost a little embarrassing, but for some reason I stumbled on this website called over 50 and fit. <laughs> I'm not over 50, not even all that fit, but I just really liked the tips I found on this website. It's like this guy right here, he runs this website and it's all about like productivity and achieving the most. And the way I came across it is I was Googling like a recurring daily to-do list because I'm trying to get like some kind of, I'll report back on that because I'm still figuring it out, but I want to have like a daily template that's like stuff I do every day and then write in, you know, new things. Um, so that's how I came across this website. And even though it's for over 50 year olds, I've really gotten a lot out of it. And he's got this whole system about a daily checklist. So I'm looking into this. I'll put a link where you can get this report if you want to check it out yourselves, but if not, just stay tuned. I will report back next time um, if I wind up using his technique or not. So anyway, I just print articles. I print stuff like that that I want to start working with, and um, that's what this little section is for. And then the last section is just paper. This is just plain old notebook paper. I love it. It's so fun to write on plain notebook paper. And I can like rip these pages out and scrawl on them and move them to other sections when I need to. And then the last thing is just another little dashboard type page. I just laminated this and put it in the back to keep sort of like a nice surface to write on in here. 
And then I have this little portfolio from the Tokyo store in the mall and I keep our budget in there. And the last thing is my pin. So this is the Friction brand. I love their pins because they are erasable. And this one is super cute. I actually really love it because I put pink ink in it. Let's see? And um, I can erase that. One word of caution on these pins is it's erased by friction, which is basically heat. So if you leave like this whole binder in the hot car in the boiling sun, supposedly all of your writing could disappear. I've never had that happen. Also, supposedly if you stick it in the refrigerator, it'll come back. I've never tested any of that. So I don't know how true it is, but I do try to keep this out of the heat, obviously. Um, but yeah, so this pin is a really cute version of a friction pin. I found it on Etsy from Japan like a couple years ago. So I'm sorry I can't find more to link, but I can show you this. I got these refills of the pink friction ink and I've been enjoying writing in pink. <laughs> um, so I can link this for you guys to refill. It's super easy to take any friction pen and just change out the ink. So I love these pens. I always, always love using these. And that is my binder. Okay, so now I'll show you your binder. So excited, but this is what I'm giving away. So it's the same exact binder. I was hunting high and low to find one for you guys, because I know you were all on the hunt too. And hopefully a lot of you did manage to find it. I think they're in stock at a lot of Target stores. Um, I had to go to like three different ones, but here it is, beautiful pink binder. And I just stocked it up with those monthly printouts all the way through the end of the year and then about a month's worth of individual pages so that you can start planning in your binder and then deck it out however you want. I know not everybody has my over the top <laughs> girly style, but you can do anything with these. It's like a blank slate. And I'm also including this beautiful diamond pin. It's like rose gold. It's so pretty. It's not erasable, but it's just gorgeous. And I thought it really dressed up the binder and it totally matched with the cool rose gold, gold corners. So this is yours if you enter the giveaway. I hope that's helpful for you guys to get an update. The system hasn't changed that much, which I think speaks to how well it's working for me. Um, I just really love planning this way. So I can't wait to hear you guys' thoughts on that. If you're also planning in a binder, let me know. How is it working for you? Do we have planner piece? Like, are we there yet? Um, and definitely stay tuned for more planning videos because I do still use my Louis Vuitton agenda because I'm just adore it. <laughs> so beautiful. Um, but this, I'm not gonna lie, this is like my practical everyday thing now. One other thing I wanted to show you on this is I get a lot of questions like, do you literally carry that binder with you everywhere? And the answer is, yeah. Like obviously if I'm going on like a movie and a dinner date with my husband or something, I'm not gonna like lug this with us. But if I'm going to run errands and I wanna have my to-do list with me, if I'm going to work at a coffee shop for a few hours, I totally bring this. And I don't think it's that big of a deal. Like when I was in college, I carried stuff like this all day, every day. Um, <laughs> I'm also a big purse girl. This is my Neverfull, which I tend to use a lot. I have videos and like all my purses on my channel if you wanna check out what I carry. But anyway, I just want to show you this totally fits in a tote style bag. So I just easily stick it in my Neverfull and I carry it with me like this. Um, you know, Longchamp tote, other bags, it all fits great. So yeah, I, I do bring it with me and that's how I use this whole system. So anyway, let's get to the important stuff, which is this giveaway. I cannot wait to gift this to one of you. I wish I had 15,000 of these and I can give every single one of my subscribers one. So thank you guys so much for your support. It honestly means the world to me. And I really hope that this is a fun little giveaway for you guys. I definitely want to do more giveaways on my channel. So stay tuned for that. But the rules on this one will just be super simple. Um, follow me on YouTube, hit subscribe here, the little red button down below <laughs> and follow me on Instagram. I'll put a link down below to my Instagram account. So you can just click that and follow me there and then leave a comment on this video down below letting me know that you did all that so that I know to enter you into the contest and then I will use a random generator to pick one super lucky winner for this. So, so excited. Okay, um, make sure you do that. What was I gonna say about that? Oh, I'll draw the winner on October 1st. I think it's a Monday. So we have like a little over a week to get everybody entered. It'll be a fresh start in October in your brand new agenda. So 
my under agenda. So definitely make sure you enter the contest. Let me know down below once you do. And please feel free to share this video with your friends, anybody that might get something out of it so that we can spread the love on this channel. And thank you guys so much for your support. I'll talk to you in the comments down below and I'll see you very soon. Bye.